Here's a quick video demonstrating the cursor talk to Figma MCP server. I have downloaded the Git repo. So we just cloned the GitHub repo to this directory and ran through the readme in this directory. Um, there's also a link to a video that walks through all of the setup, but basically just bun setup and then to start the WebSocket for uh, Figma, we've got bun socket and then what we do is go ahead and inside of cursor, all we have to do is run this bun cursor talk to M talk to Figma MCP and that will start the MCP server and then uh, what we do inside of Figma is we installed this plugin cursor MCP plugin and it will connect to that WebSocket and it gives you a channel ID. So we take this channel ID and we'll go ahead and select this frame here in the document. And then back into cursor, we can tell it join the channel, paste the channel ID and take a look at my current selection. So if we send this to cursor, it's going to join the channel. Going to get the selection. Oh, I think I accidentally clicked reject. So let's see. Try it again. Do you see my current selection run tool? Home two. That's the one. Get its current state. So now you can see the WebSocket server just sent over a bunch of information about that frame. So now it's asking me, I can see it. Uh, it's, uh, it's talking about a previous session that I just did, but what we can do is do what I just tried before recording, which is modify this design to pertain to a invoicing tool for freelancers. Send. So I'll modify the design. It's going to set the, it just set the um, hero text here. Now it's going to set the subtext. Let's see, navigation menu is going to get updated. Templates. just going through and updating the nav. Uh, let's see, it's going to update this call to action button. Create free invoice. This is really cool. All right, what's it going to do next? Uh, it's going to change these stats down here. 25k users. Oh, 25K plus freelancers, that makes more sense. Fifty million plus invoiced.
99% paid on time. And then now it's giving a summary of all of the changes that it made. Uh, it's asking if I want to adjust the color scheme, any of the text or statistics further, change the layout or visual elements, specific features or benefits. That was pretty decent in one shot. I don't know if it's going to be able to design pieces like this, but since they're static images or just additional SVGs, but if you had like a collection of them on this on the canvas, you probably it could probably pull from it. Um, but anyway, just wanted to show off that quick demo of the cursor talk to Figma plugin. That's it for now. Thanks.